In fact, we got stuck in a tree. Suddenly, we heard a tiny voice. Just what are you doing in my tree? Uh, 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 who said that? I said that and I'll say it again. Just what are you doing in my tree? We discovered that the voice was coming from a tiny flying lady. Hey, would you look at that? What is it? I'm a wood sprite. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, no, there is no such thing as a wood sprite. Oh, no, and I suppose there's no such thing as a big bag of air stuck in my tree. But there it is, big as life. She was a real wood sprite, no bigger than a bird, and very pretty. Well, how about moving this bag? Oh. Oh, yes, I certainly do. <laughs> oh, aren't you sweet? <laughs> and who are you? Well, I'm Teddy Ruxpin, and this is Grubby, and this is Newton Gimmick. How do you do? How do you do? How do you do? My name is Leota. I'm pleased to meet you, and I'm sorry if we damaged your tree. Oh, that's all right. Is there anything I can do to help? Well, I'm not sure. You do understand the simple basics of aerodynamics, don't you? Uh, yeah, yeah. huh? Leota showed us how to get down out of the tree. Then she gave us some ideas about steering the airship. Now, in order for your airship to move in any given direction, you must apply a force in the opposite direction, such as this large, manually driven propeller. Then you will have to know something about the effect of wind and various aspects of navigation. It's very simple. <laughs> well, it all sounded very confusing at first, but Leota had been flying all of her life and knew just what we should do to make the airship work. And so at last the airship flew perfectly. We said goodbye to Leota. Goodbye! 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 Goodbye, everyone! And we were off on our way to Grundo in search of adventure.